Hey guys, and welcome back to Zombie City, where today we are going to be building this mega build over here. But first, I have a few things I want to show you. Down here, I have been working on an item or a two, or in particular, one thing that I want to show you. Down here, I've been working on a trail shop. I've been telling you that I want to build a few shops, tiny, tiny businesses down this way, and I want them to actually have an impact on the game. So I thought, well, I mean, like, it's not really an impact on the game, but it's an impact on the players of the game. So if I uh, come out here and wander in, let's, let's get the dragon's breath on. That's pretty good. You can see it now just appears at my feet, which is, which is nice beautiful it's lovely uh the the thing is the way that i'm doing it is all about tags <clears throat> and unless i wanted to set up a massive massive great big long line of uh, command blocks underneath this was kind of the best way to do it so each of these will add a tag for a certain amount of xp each for five at the moment but i'm gonna change that and then this one over here boom does a purge it will remove all your all your tags so there will be various trail shops all over the map in various places everywhere as you get more and more to the expensive areas over there you'll get the more and more extravagant ones uh, but at the moment mostly cloud particles uh, and you can you can let me come back here. You can uh, add them up. <laughs> get more levels. Uh, let, let's do this. XP me. Oh, no, no. XP five levels me. Okay, thanks. Uh, so, yeah, it, it gives a little feedback if you don't have enough. Uh, but, yeah, you can you can, you can can add them together and you get nice little weird effects. Uh, the, these both follow my path. Uh, the... The one on the left, I think, falls to the floor. You see these kind of stay upright. They, they fall to the floor. I'm, I'm going to need some more levels. Uh, so when you jump, you have ones you see there that fall to the floor. That's pretty good. So you can add them together however you like. And this is the purge. Now, the, when I started putting this together, I was like, I know there's a lot of uh, particles in this game. But I didn't quite realise how many there were. Uh, there, there's a lot. Each each command block here removes a particle tag, including the one at the very top. So that's how many particles there are. So there's plenty to play with. And this is why I decided to go for the adding of tags so that, you know, I, I didn't have to put that many command blocks underneath each one. Other things that I'm going to do very quickly. I've You guys might remember I pointed out a problem with the lift, whereas if this was already down here and then you press this button, it would uh, break it. I think we're going to... Uh, Break the button when this is pressed with a command block. We can just let's uh, let's let's go in here. I think I can go in here. We can uh, set a command block up somewhere. Uh, I'm thinking probably off of this block. This this seems to be the one. You can see when this button gets pressed, uh, the observer block gets pushed forwards. And I'll, I'll just take the the signal off of there to break the button. And then when we press the up button, which is not immediately visible. Oh, it's this one. Is, is it this one? This up button here. Uh, I will have a little bit. Uh, command block there that replaces the button so that that should be nice and easy i know i know a load of you were worried about how i was going to fix that so that that's how that is going to fix but right now i think the thing we're going to go do is uh work on this big one over here now there's a few things i want to uh, explain before we start the mythical time lapse uh first off i want to cover up this stuff here um this is the the tunnel to the mall. Let's let's go down and round under here. You can see this is the tunnel to the mall, and you can distinctly ooh, hit my head. You can distinctly see where the the top is uncovered, which is a, a little bit of a shame there. So we'll definitely do something about that. But this means a few other things have to change. You can see that I have uh, planned out different heights and different widths for the different floors. But uh, here, I think this one's going to have to go because if I, even if I just replace this layer here, uh, we're still going to end up with a layer like five blocks tall. I, I don't like that. I think we're going to go all the way up to that layer for this first floor. Um, replace the grass. I don't know if about if replacing the grass or replacing something. Uh, and I'm also thinking of filling in uh, this whole area here just to give it a little bit more stability. But yeah, I'm going to go uh, throw on the replay mod and let's see about getting a time lapse sorted.
guys that was the first proper time lapse i've done in a while and the first time using the replay mod it was pretty good i've got to say the extra ones of these that i got the old camera spin uh, about halfway through the time lapse there were not intentional but i think i managed to make them good anyway so that that was cool i just for some reason i put a camera path over there and come over here and for some reason it'll decide that it wanted to look at these buildings on the way past crazy crazy now this i think this has gone really really well um yeah i like it i like the patterning i like the, the the different layers i was toying with the idea of having these you see these um normal prismarine brick layers what that brick there uh, i was toying with the idea of having those as a different material but literally everything i changed i changed it to just just looked weird. So I ended up going along with this as like the best of a bad a bunch, if you will. Uh, the buttresses on the outside, they were interesting. This front one here, love it. Absolutely love it. Exactly how I wanted it. Uh, this little step out here, I was like, hey, let's have a two-tier balcony. You know, people go up here to begin with and then maybe can wander down here. I don't know, maybe there's a... a, a barbecue there or something? I don't know. Whatever people do on a balconies halfway up skyscrapers. But I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I also think I may have come out a little bit too far with this one. If we come over this side and have a look, you can see I've started actually ripping down this section here just, just to try and see what it looks like. I actually think I prefer this. If anything though, this uh, comes out a little quickly. Maybe I want to go down maybe just to this one here. At the moment it looks like we're on a trajectory to go to the outside. I, I think we might want to just shrink it down. This is just going to be my stairway anyway. If we come down and have a look inside, a small confession. When I was uh, first conceiving of this place in my head, I was going to have each floor be its own little separate compartment, layer it all up, uh, have many areas. But then I came in and looked up and I was like, nope, no, we're not doing that. We're going to have this central bit being completely open. I think we're going to have balconies going across this back wall here. Uh, stairway going up this side, maybe. I, I, I was just talking to the people in Discord and being like, I've managed to build this entire skyscraper without actually giving any thought 
to how people would get up and down, which is ridiculous. Massive oversight. I'd, I've, I've even planned what's on the floors and stuff like that. I just, I cannot believe I forgot to do that. So yeah, this is quite a, a process over here. Um, it's, a, it's a bit trial and error. I keep drawing out lines where I think I should cut it and then try and figure out where the diagonal line would be, which I, I think is possibly here. The problem is that I've not... Ooh, yeah, I, could, I can place blocks, honestly. The problem is this is not just a diagonal. It's actually a little bit of a, a curvy bit here. Uh, let's make that three wide like that. And and that should kind of look okay, right? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So I'm having to do this. I'm, I'm basically working out to two blocks. Um, two blocks gap. Which, which, yeah, seems to work okay. As I say, we look like we're going to be hitting the bottom. Because, as you can see here, each one has only been a one block gap. And I've kind of halved it. And then we're going out by two. So the maths dictates that we're going to end up somewhere down there. I'm not sure if I like that or not, but it's definitely going to be a thing. Uh, the next thing I need to work on, of course, is interiors. Uh, this side needs to have a whole bunch of floors put in. Each one where these per uh, pink wool are. Uh, these two are definitely going to be far apart floors. And then I think we're going to start having one every other floor. Uh, every floor, sorry. These are every other floor. And then I've got to think about the pathways and how people are getting around. What type of floor we're going to give this place. Because obviously if we, we could just flood fill it with prismarine. But that is a lot of prismarine. I think we need like some floor designs or something like that on the go. Anyway, I'm getting very close to the end of this episode already. We're not even getting close to doing this. So uh, I'm, I'm going to do another great big jump cut. Which hopefully... I'll get done relatively quickly. So I've got a load of stuff to show you in there. But I've been looking at this. Uh, I've, I've got to say, as compared to the other sort of faces, this one seems a little bit, I don't know, a little bit plain, a little bit boring. I, I don't I don't really like it all that much. So I'm going to come along and just do a little thing quick. I reckon if I take that and, oh man, we've got to fly all the way up here. This is going to take a little while to get up here. But I'm going to take one sliver of glass and then the pattern on this side. Gonna go all the way up to the top here. I, I don't know. Let's see. We want like one, two, three, four. Let's let's say five of them. Let's go stack five. Is, is that a thing I can do? Bam. Okay, that looks a little bit better. And I would like to do a uh, stack one this way. I'm just gonna do a stack like that. I think that might look a little bit better. I did not go. There we go. That's cool. Uh, I'm not. Uh, wasn't expecting the change of colours, but I, I think that looks a little bit better. Maybe we could do something else there. I just needed to fill that up a, bit, a little bit more. That that really wasn't working for me. Okay, so in here, let's let's get rid of all this. So that's that's a load of stuff that I don't need. In here, we have been working. Like the first thing I've done out here is uh, connected a few paths up, made this connect to that, sent this down this way. I'm not sure whether I'm going to get this running down to connect to that or whether it's just going to empty out into a little area down here. We're going to have like a wall uh, surrounding all this and that's going to go around the back there. So that, that's that's thoughts that I've been having about that way. Coming in the front here, uh, this is nice. I like this area a lot. This, this stuff on the side here, I originally had as purple concrete powder, but it sounded weird when I walked on it so we've uh, changed that out for the purple wool it's pretty good I like the look going up you can see I've put a couple of walkways in and stuff like that we've got this main area coming down to what I assume is a reception area uh, we'll, we'll put some stuff up some decorations to make this feel a little bit more receptiony uh, and of course we've got a way leading to outside out the back here it's only a one-way door. Can't I can't come in from out that way, but I can leave via that way. I think we're going to have like a uh, coffee shop meeting area there. This is going to be. I don't know, some sort of production area, if not like TV, then just media in general, a production area. But we've got these things over here. You remember that I was saying I didn't know how I was going to transport my people around? Well, I've been playing with the idea of pneumatic tubes. Using the levit uh, using the levitate potion. So the problem there, and it, this is a, a problem that I don't know whether I want to fix or not. Uh, when I jump down from on top, the bounce from the slime block also gets added to the motion. Um, if I come down like this, just kind of drop onto the slime block. If I just walk onto it, you can see, whilst, yeah, I just about make it up onto this block. Um, it, it's not ideal. Game mode zero. The problem, of course, comes in. So if I, once again, come down, just landing up like this, 
No problem, right? No problem at all. But if we come down, do a bounce, as you would do if you miss it, you lose a little bit of health there. And whilst that's only half a heart, and I don't think I'm that bothered about it, it's not really ideal, but I can't turn it down anymore, else you wouldn't make it up the first time. And then all these other places are a little bit... A little bit different uh, like that. It's, I, I kind of like them. I feel like I need to encase it because if you do this wrong, you end up like bashing your head here and then nearly killing yourself. Uh, all sorts of problems can come into play there. But, you know, these are all things that need to be worked on whilst I work on the interior. I just really like this as a way of going up like uh, pneumatic tubes, right? It's not... It's not a bouncy area, it's a pneumatic tube. That's what that's what I'm going to say. This one really needs to be uh, worked on. These command blocks, I know they're a little bit uh, obvious, pointing, pointing out of the roof like that, but they're actually going to go underground. I just put them up there to uh, keep an eye on things. For those of you that are wondering how I do it, I do, of course, use the levitation. I was trying to use the motion tag. I don't know if you guys are aware that almost all entities have this whole set of standard properties, and one of them is motion. But it turns out players... No, that's that's not a thing for players. You can do it to, to items and minecarts and mobs and, and just about everything that is not a player. Uh, so that that's a little annoying. Uh, this kind of comes across here and leads out towards this front balcony. I don't like this transition and I'm not so sure about the way this comes up like this. But uh, it, it works. It works. And then I think what we're going to do is somewhere up here, maybe right at the very front, I'm going to just... Bast a small hole in there, just bash a small hole in. Because um, then you can come down to this area where there'll be like another hole, and you come down to this area, and then there'll be another hole where you come down to this area where you get something nice. Fighting the whole way through, going to um, furnish them, furnish these areas with like office space I think maybe office space like director space something like that uh, I'm not entirely sure but the thoughts are coming uh, you can see here I've been putting in more floors really give the sort of the built up experience uh, here is the last place where I started putting down the command what well, the, the the jump tubes because uh, we're getting a little tight up here and I'm not sure how I want to fit them all in but fit them in I will uh, and then this is the the top floor the very very top and but the thing is this this isn't as high as I want the characters to go the players to go I want to be able to somehow maybe on another walkway like this come out to the middle and then go up here because there's a whole load of stuff we might even start working on individual floors with with stairways coming up, spiral stairways going up the outside. I don't, I don't know if that's that's a good plan or not. Uh, coming up here, this is kind of penultimate floor, uh, and then here, where we still have a little bit, still have a little bit of wool. Um, I'd like to obviously keep the theme, but it needs a different cap. I'm not sure what we're going to do there, but I want this 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 whole floor here, this actual floor that I'm walking on right now. I want it to be exposed so I could see out like this. Oh, that's that's not very good. Let's uh, let's let's do a thing, shall we, guys? This may may chunk out my uh, my video, but let's let's see what happens. Load, load, load. Yeah, much better. Much. Oh, don't don't spin around like that. Let's just look in this direction. So you can see the sort of the the range of what I'm thinking of here. So yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's I, I like this. I like this. But next time, I think what we're going to do is work on some interior. I'm not going to have any uh, any quest written down for this because this is going to be a high level area, and I'm not exactly sure what I want my high level players to be facing so this is this is more just background for that stuff right now but anyway i'm going to work on that next time i'm going to possibly work on some of these other buildings the whole push of the series right now is to try and make this central area feel a little bit more full before i start working on houses and suburbs and places like that but anyway i'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure i will see you next time when we're gonna do all of those things every single one of them but yeah bye that was a bit of a weekending <laughs>